North Korean mechanized troops held an artillery fire competition over the weekend as part of efforts to boost the country's defense capabilities, state media reported on Sunday. Sudan's protest movement has announced two days of nationwide strikes, rejecting internationally backed initiatives to return to a power sharing arrangement with the military following last month. The Sudan the Sudan Sudanese Professionals Association called for strikes and civil disobedience on Sunday and Monday under the slogan of no negotiations, no compromise, no power sharing, until a civilian government is established. Israel stepped up its public opposition to a plan by President Joe Biden's administration to reopen the U.S. consulate for Palestinians in Jerusalem, suggesting such a mission should be in the occupied West Bank. Under former President Donald Trump, Washington closed the Jerusalem consulate and placing its staff within the U.S. Embassy to Israel that was moved to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv in 2018. The Israeli High Court of Justice is expected to decide over the next month whether an area in the occupied West Bank, where Palestinian communities have resided long before the Israeli occupation, will continue to be used for military purposes. Israeli authorities have expropriated thousands to establish illegal Israeli settlements. At least two investigations one of them criminal, were underway on Sunday into the deadly stampede during rap star Travis Scott's Astro World Music Festival that ate pit, ate pit people and injured dozens in Houston. Houston City Police Chief Troy Finner said his department had opened a criminal investigation by homicide and narcotics detectives, following reports that somebody in the audience had been injecting people with drugs. At least 99 people were killed and more than 100 injured in the capital of Sierra Leone in a fuel tanker exploded following a collision, local authorities said. A drone laden with explosives targeted the residents of Iraqi Prime Minister in Baghdad early on Sunday in what the Iraqi military called an attempted assassination, but said he escaped unhurt. Iraqi Prime Minister calls for calm and restraint after escaping from a drone attack. Libya's ruling presidential council has suspended foreign minister for administrative violations and barred her from traveling. Libya's transitional government rejects the council's decision ahead of planned elections. Pakistan on Saturday accepted an LNG cargo at the highest ever price of $30.60 per million British thermal units from Qatar Petroleum on the grounds of averting a possible gas crisis in the upcoming peak winter month. PLL floated emergency bids for two cargoes after Gunva and ENI defaulted on their commitments. Pakistan Democratic Movement decided to hold several anti-inflation protests across the country, which will culminate in the long march towards Islamabad. The opposition alliance meeting in meeting in, in which it decided to hold protests in Karachi on November 13, in Quetta on November 17, and in Peshawar on November 20, sources informed. Pakistan has lost 20 lives to the coronavirus. According to NCOC, 417 new infections were reported in the last 24 hours. The, posit the posit positivity rate was recorded at 1.08%. Following a strict province-wide crackdown on sugar hoarders, the commodities price has started easing in Punjab. The unprecedented jump in the price of sugar abruptly saw a turnaround decline at decline line as the X mill price nosedived to 120 to 125 rupees per kilogram from Friday's 140 rupees. 